All right, we're back. Um, we are still waiting 48 minutes for that dough to rise for the focaccia bread. And in the meantime, um, I got a pineapple. I mentioned I was doing pizza later tonight for dinner. And um, a bit of a kitchen gadget guy. I have a drawer that is full of them. And back in the day when I saw this, I thought this was a great idea. It is a pineapple core. You basically cut the top off your pineapple and you jam it in and then you stick this in and the little buttons that are stuck <laughs> that are not supposed to be stuck are supposed to pop out. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, there we go. Oh. <laughs> I might have just broke it. That's okay. But it, okay, so it's it's sorta of out. Oh, come on, get out of there. Okay, so it sticks out, and you turn this thing, and it goes all the way through your pineapple down to the bottom, and then you pull it up, and as it cu cu uh, cuts, it makes rings. You get a lot of leftover waste, and so then I stopped using this. I don't know why I still have it, because I haven't probably used it in a couple years. I used to um, chop off the top, the bottom, and then I'd slice down the sides and I'd make spears and I still found that I was wasting a lot of pineapple and I watched some video of some old little old Filipino lady and she was laughing and uh, trying to make this video on a phone and and she sort of did it for three minutes and then she stopped she got camera shy or whatever shut the camera off and then just showed it at the end so I decided to uh, replicate her video but I'm just gonna do the whole thing I'll hyperlapse it um, so you can see how I did it. Um, I don't know if you ever noticed on a pineapple, but pineapple actually grows in spirals. And um, I never really noticed it before, but if you look at um, one of these little nodes, you'll see it kind of goes up, and then there's a row beside it, and it goes up, and a row beside it, and it goes up, and so on and so on. So that'll be important uh, later. So I'm just going to use a big knife for now to cut off the top, so I'll probably use this little knife. Maybe this little knife, this one looks a little bit more precision. Um, so here we go. All right, so that is it right there. That is, you know, spin it around. We saved the most amount of pineapple meat you could possibly save. So that's it. Um, then uh, what you'd want to do is cut it right down the middle and get that core out. So I'm just going to take this knife and I'll cut down here. You know what, I'm just gonna quarter it. Stand it up. And I think I am going to take this piece that 
I almost dropped on the floor. Mmm. It's juicy. I just ate a quarter of pineapple. <laughs> well, I'll be saving a bunch of this for pizza later. Much to some people's disgust, because apparently people don't like pineapple on pizza, but they're wrong. <laughs> and we still have 30 minutes to wait for that dough to rise. Have a quick little look at it and see where it's at. It is uh, getting bigger. You can see it there. Another 30 minutes and it'll be pushing this plastic up. Then we can continue on with the